Hello, 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 everyone. Thank you for tuning in. I am Jay Lee. This is Jay Lee's Corner, and this is going to be some kind of review. Check the description box or the title. I don't know which one, okay? That isn't the point, okay? But first things first, if you have not done so already, please go moment to subscribe to my channel. And my grandma, oh, Jaybird, Jaybird, dun, 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 and all that goodness and stuff. Um, center yourself, okay? Center yourself, okay? Do not forget to also like this video. It helps me, okay? Like the video. YouTube will share it more. Thank you very much. You can also comment in the comment section. Share it on your social media as well. Follow me on IG and or Twitter, okay? At J underscore Lee's underscore corner. It is not somewhere on the screen, okay? It is where? In the description box. The description box also has all the other information you may need. So go, go check it out, okay? Okay. So y'all see this is not a review. This is a gossip chat. Who said that? Anybody? Somebody? Nobody or whatever. Okay. But just let's get into what we got going on today. A lot happened. Nothing happened. So I'm covering a whole bunch of stuff. So get you some little drink or whatever. Get you a little snack. Okay. And let's just chit chat a little bit. Okay. I also will be live later on today because I will get this sometime on Sunday because it's now 4 40 in the morning. It should be 3 40 but we lost an hour. But I'll be on my live on my channel today at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Be there or be square. Okay. It's just chit chat because I have not talked about Jay Birds in a minute. So, you know, just some connection stuff or, or whatever. Anyway, first up, we have Summer Walker. Summer Walker is a singer girl who always, you know, was in the news on a blog, for either saying something or doing something that some people don't understand or don't like, you know. She's also the one who says she has social anxiety and everything. But she posted on her social media a clip, okay. It was a clip of some people who looked to be Asian or Chinese or Japanese, you know, somewhere in China. And they were, like, licking an elevator door or the buttons. And it was, it was real nasty. I had also seen the same video circulating. They were sent on people over there or trying to spread the coronavirus or whatever. And so she shared, she shared the video. And, you know, she put, like, a caption that said, um... You know, oh, they so nasty. Oh, that's nasty. That's 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 some nasty shit. Okay, that's some nasty shit. People then were upset saying she was spreading fake news because apparently the videos from two years ago and also calling her racist because they were insinuating that she was calling people from China nasty. And she was like, no, I, I was saying the people in the video, regardless of who they are, what they look like, would be nasty to be licking, you know, the elevator buttons that's that's nasty it's very very nasty so she ended up like taking down all her posts off her ig people be putting 20 on 10 look if i see a video i don't care how old it is and people are licking you know public places knowing that other people touch that and that's how germs spread that is nasty. It doesn't matter what race, color, creed, or nothing that they are. That's nasty. She was not talking about the the race or the heritage or the religion or none of that. Just the people. Or whatever the people was. Black, white, or whatever. That's nasty. P people always like, you know what I'm saying, just putting too much into stuff that's not even that. And I'm like, plus, oh, and the video's old. So what? Who is the damn video police? No one has time to be date checking stuff sometime. Now, I do hate when people post, like, they repost, like, oh, so-and-so is missing or, or so-and-so passed away. And it'd be, it'd be from eight years ago. Now, that stuff I get. But random videos of people in random places doing random things, it's to, it circulates. And no one is trying to figure out what data is from. Leave that girl alone, I, but I'll just stop posting sometimes too. But she ain't mean that. Leave that girl be. I just, it's, it's just hush. Just, just hush, damn it. Anyway, okay, the whole thing with who? Meg the Stallion. Now we know that Meg has put out her little, uh, her, 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 um, project. Okay, she said she did not want to call it, um, an album. She put out her project. This Friday, and they have, I think, nine songs on there. I haven't listened to any of it, obviously. I really, really have not. But we know that she is basically beefing with her label, 
1501, she suing them. She was able to get a temporary restraining order to, to allow her to release her music this weekend. And she brought up how the reason she did it that way was because she knew because she was battling with them that she would not be able to put stuff out. Probably. So let me put this stuff out right now. Work on my album. And then we, we have time to figure out what's going to happen or whatever. Now... 1501 is also with Carl Crawford. We know Carl Crawford is also Evelyn Lozada's baby daddy. He's also an MLB player. Well, he was a baseball player. But he's the CEO of the 1501. Now, people are saying he was the money man. He may not be the, 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 the wizard of music and business, but he put up the money. You know, in the beginning, she brought up how she, you know, signed a deal to where they got 60%. She got 40%. She was given like a ten or $15,000 advance. And she said at that point in time, her her mama, you know, was, was doing it on their own. Her mom was still working. And she's like, that money, you know, would help her mom not have to work so much or whatever. So at that point in time, she took the deal. She was in her early 20s. And now, you know, she, she wants better, okay? She's done a few interviews. Now, some things she couldn't, could I talk about? She was on The Breakfast Club. She was on Hot 97. She was on Angie Martinez's show. And for the most part, she kept reiterating how people are, are acting like, other artists do not try to renegotiate their contracts. She's trying to renegotiate her contract to make it a little bit more fair because once her managers at Rock Nation seen certain things, they wanted to renegotiate certain things. But again, she can't fully go into, in, into detail. Now, for the most part, 1501 in them is saying she's lying. It's, it's, it's real messy. And it's been all over the news. It's, it's real messy. This is my opinion on the mess of it all. She has the right to want to renegotiate. They have the right to not want to give her everything she wants. Because they're making it seem as Meg is saying that she wants to renegotiate. But what she really wants them to do is give her everything she's asking for. And she's not trying to compromise. So they feel like she's trying to like, you know, stick them up or whatever. Because Carl filed a counterclaim. Okay, to try to block her. I'm like, that's just, that's just crazy. Now, he brings up, this is what Carl said, okay? She lying on me and everything, you know what I'm saying? I, they, they, I, it's not that I don't want to negotiate. He said, everybody in the industry knows this is what Jay-Z and Rock Nation do. They come in, they found the smallest thing wrong with the problem because there weren't any problems before she left. And then says that I... And then she says that I did not want to renegotiate. I did not want to negotiate. You know, what you think of negotiation is, you know, I'm supposed to, you know, you know, you come in here like Suge Knight or whatever. You have Suge Knight Lords come in, you know what I'm saying, and kind of stick me up. And it's like a robbery. And we ain't letting that happen. Um, they want to make it look like I'm greedy, but, you know, they're trying to keep me out of everything. Um, he just saying she lying. I, she ain't this. It's just, it's messy. It's very messy. I feel like it's going to get even messier. Basically because they both are like on the standing ground. He don't want to give in. She don't want to give in. I'm like, why can't y'all just part ways? But she's also saying that she does not even want to leave the label. She just wants things to be a little bit more fair. Because out of the 60-40 difference, which she gets 40%, out of her 40, she's still paying the producers and all of them. So she's not making that much money at all or whatever. And I'm like, it's just... Her, her deal supposedly has her in for four albums. Four albums can easily be eight years of your life. And let's be honest, she hasn't had, you know what I'm saying, even her first debut album, to my to my knowledge. Um, I think she just had, like, EPs and mixtapes or whatever and, and, uh, and popping songs. So, I'm like, they is, I don't see how they, things will work out later because there's so much tension even jay prince got involved i ain't commenting on what he said but he's saying how they also trying to make it seem as if he's in on all this crap and he ain't got nothing to do with it or whatever and they're also bringing up how the jay-z and them and rock nation and them they're trying to strong arm them girl it's a whole mess it's just, it's just a whole mess and i mean I guess she got all summer to get it figured out. Anyway, let's see who's next. Because, I mean, it's just going to keep going on and on and on and on. Okay, next up we have, you know, Nicki Minaj and her boo. Okay, Nicki Minaj's husband, Ken Petty, was arrested. Okay, he was arrested and he was also released on a $20,000 bond because he had not registered as a offender. 
of relation. Okay. He was an offender of relations. Okay. Um, and he, you know, when you are convicted of being an offender of relations, you have to register wherever you live and let them know that you are an offender of the relations. Okay. So he moved to California like last year with him and he had married or whatever. He never registered in California. He was registered in New York without in L.A. So they arrested his ass because you have to do that. You have like supposedly 10 days to do it. He had been there for, you know, since like the, the summer of last year. And more than 10 days, more than 10 days. And he just never registered. So they, they, the federal marshals came and got that man. Okay. The federal marshals. Now, it was like a state case and also a federal case and they say the city or the, the city of LA dropped their charges basically because he's facing kind of same charges federally a person who is a offender of relations who did not register so you know they dropped those charges but he's still facing the same charges now he was in jail back in 95 okay he served for years for first degree attempted uh taking it Okay, he, he tried to take it from somebody. Okay, he, he, he tried to take somebody's honey pot, their pocketbook, their vagina. Okay, and you know, he at the time he was like, him and the victim were 15, 16 years old or whatever. So it wasn't like he was messing with like a kid as an adult. But it was still a, a, a he, it was a crime. He committed, and they alleged that he had a, a, a cutting instrument. While attempting to commit said crime, okay, and so he went to jail for that for four years. He then went back to jail again in 2006. He did seven years for manslaughter. So people are saying, like, why of all the people that Nicki Minaj has access to date, why would you date a double felon? Like, for for what? For gay? I don't know either. And now her address of wherever they live has to be registered, you know, for everyone to see. Now. You you can't you can't help who you love, but I also feel like Nicki Minaj maybe was like in a bad place in her life, and he kind of just slithered his way in. I hope going forward this is fixed. My thing is I don't get how her handlers, or her people, her lawyers didn't say, "Hey, we have to make sure that he does A B C D E F and G." Like, how do they not make sure whatever rules he had to follow to not make her look bad was followed? How did they? You had to have known. When he moved, he had to register. Girl, because who wants to then see the man on the news for being arrested? And I know she had to pay that 20 grand because he ain't got it. Because what does he do? Nothing. He's a professional husband, okay? Anyway, it was stuff going around that they were showing that Meek had supposedly liked some posts about him going to jail. Meek commented immediately and said, I would never like a post about someone going to jail like that ain't, and I'm like that's true that man and you know he's he's fighting prison reform I don't people be making up fake shit but I, I digress it's just kind of crazy now Wendy Williams was under fire Wendy Williams was on her show speaking about Ashley Graham Ashley Graham was a model um but everything now Ashley Graham had posted a picture of herself and her baby boy okay she was in a staples in 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 the son had an explosion his, his booty exploded with poop as babies do but babies have what, they, what we call blowouts okay baby had a blowout in staples and there was no you know bathroom there was no chain thing in the bathroom so the photo of her and her seven week old son was her and him on the floor and she's cleaning him up on the floor however she has some on the um the changing mat you know a changing mat is made when you're somewhere that does not have a bathroom or a changing table you have a changing mat that you can put on the floor and sterilely clean your child and that's what she was doing inside the staples and she posted the picture saying like mom like no there's no bathroom or maybe it's a blow up and a blowout this is what we do so wendy was on her, her her talk show and I don't like that. You know, she shouldn't have done that. She should have figured something else out to do. And other people was mommy shaming Ashley. And I'm like, Wendy, shut up. 
please shut up. And y'all know I love Wendy. I watch her every day, okay? But her thing was, you know, there was other things that she could have done. You know, that's too much information. Like, no one needs to see that. But Wendy be on her show every day sharing too much information about this or that. I think the day after she went on about Ashley, she was on, I think it was the day after, because I watch, of course. She was talking about her, her, her DJ, DJ Booth, how when he drinks a particular kind of tea or coffee, he has the shit. She has the runs. No one needed to know that that man drinks some kind of special coffee and when he do, he run off. We did not need to know that. But you brought up on television and talked about it. And not only that, he wasn't even on stage when she did it. He was in the bathroom. We cannot be mommy shaming. That's just not nice. People don't realize she was doing what she had to do. To clean her child. Maybe she did not want to wait until she got to her car to clean her child. Maybe she wanted to instantly clean her child. And it, it reminds me of when Carla was younger. Well, Carla, when we was younger, you know, Carla, my best friend, um, has my goddaughter. My my goddaughter will be will be tw- will be twenty one in, <laughs> in two months. Um, but when she was a baby, people would piss us off because the CC would like spit up and if Carla didn't immediately notice it or whatever we was out somewhere or whatever somebody was like you know the baby was dirty no bitch she spit up and Carla decided didn't had had not noticed it just yet to clean it and then when she did notice it she immediately cleaned CC up so it's the thing about people are always trying to consistently mommy shame somebody not knowing you know that somebody either did not feel like waiting to do something later or did not even realize the baby split up. It is dumb. And I'm like, Wendy has a whole kid. She should know better. Oh, heifer. Got on my nerves. Stop mommy shaming people. But I digress. Next up. Um, Lord Jesus. That's real clear. You know, that man, the Pied Piper of R&B, that man who's on a permanent vacation behind some some federal walls, okay? His ex-girlfriend, Azriel, they're making a new documentary. I'm not going to watch it. I'm not going to pay any attention to it. That's her or her parents now. Um, So there's a new documentary coming out and everything. And she's supposed to be involved in it. I'm like, I don't care. There's nothing that a documentary could put out that we don't know or expect. Oh, but then she says something that we did not need to know. There's a video of her on the phone, doing like a phone interview with whoever. And she says that man, the Pied Piper, you know, made her poop in a cup. And after he made her poop in a cup... He then made her, you know, eat it. And I'm like, why does she, I was just confused as to why she felt the need to admit this. My thing is, we know how sick that man is. We we know that. But what you did was say that you, why would you do that? You know what I'm saying? I'm like, that's why, like, there's, look, look, look. At that point, I was like, okay, she doing stuff for attention. And I'm not blaming her, but what I'm saying is there are some things that she went through that we don't need to know. We don't need to know that you ate poop. We do not need to know that, okay? Everyone has heard of or seen the two women one cup thing from a, a while ago that shocked me sh- that's when I saw it because people don't tell you what it is until you've watched it and then they sit back and laugh at you at your reaction about it but I'm a, I am I need her to go sit down somewhere to properly heal and some things we don't need to know and that's it and I'm not watching whatever new documentary it is I still haven't watched all of the part two of the one that came on last time. I watched one episode of, I think it was like four episodes. I watched them, maybe it was five. I watched two of them. No, one and a half. Then that was it. Because I'm like, I'm just, I'm tired of it. At this point in time, she is a shitty person. He is a shitty person too. Um, Next up, Pleasure P. Pleasure P was arrested, okay, over the weekend and everything. He was in an incident in a checkered drive-thru, okay, in Florida. And they messed up his order. 
in a drive through line, okay? And so, he then pulled around. He was fussing and arguing with the, with the person in, in, in the restaurant or whatever. And for some reason, he got out of his car and some things happened. Now, he was arrested, not the, the checker's uh, worker. And they say that he pushed the girl or pushed food in her chest food at her, sent it to result in her calling the police and saying that he assaulted her, okay? Um, after a whole verbal argument. My thing is, it was like 5 o'clock in the morning. He had like $60 worth of food from Checkers and the order was wrong and he was pissed. They say he may have been a little bit intoxicated, okay? I said, look, now he did admit that he did throw the food, but not at the girl, okay? I threw it, but I ain't throw it at her. Well, do you have bad aim, sir? And they say that all the, the staff, you know, backed up the co-workers saying, that is what happened. What she said happened, he did assault her, he did throw food at her, whatever, and so he was arrested. Now, he said the truth will come out, because that is not what happened. That is not what happened at all. I'm saying, I'm like, well, look, some kind of way the food that she was given was thrown at her. So what happened in the middle? I'm like, girl, look, y'all have to learn when somebody messed up your food, give me a refund. I'm not fussing and arguing with anybody about my food. Give me a refund. Here goes your food. And I'm out. Because if you fuss with them, they're going to spit on your food. And you're going to get the virus. I don't want the virus. And so, we held, see, we, he on tour. Okay? The Millennium Tour is underway. He better stop playing. Okay? Don't you be a bit and stuff and getting arrested or whatever. We got time for that. So, we see Love and Hip Hop will be a bit different. Nina Parker, who usually hosts uh, the reunions, is not hosting the reunions anymore. At least not for the Love of Hip Hop Miami reunion that is coming up. Claudia Jordan, okay, who did a season of The Housewives of Atlanta and told Nene at the back of her scout look like Raymond Noodles. Yeah, that Claudia Jordan will be hosting the reunion. My thing is, Claudia is messy and petty. Cause she's a messy boots and I feel like maybe that'll be good because sometimes Nina Parker didn't like really address some of the bullshit that were happening within the season and a lot of stuff will be like the left unsaid I'm hoping that Claudia who I believe watches the show because she's forever commenting on social media she also has some kind of show on like BT or whatever in some way the same way that uh um Keisha Cole, the same, whatever network has the Keisha Cole talk show, Claudia has one too. So, I feel like because she probably watches Love and Hip Hop, she's aware of things, she may be a better host. I feel like the host needs to watch the show to be able to say, well, you know what, Sukiyana, your lips was real big, just something, I don't know what, but be able to address things that the viewers would want to know. Don't ask questions based on the producer shit. Like, we need somebody who's gonna go against the grain. I, and I, I, I don't care. But yeah, I'm just happy that someone who I think will, you know, ask good questions will not be the host. But maybe she'll be a shitty host and we'll be pissed off. I'm not sure. But let's move on, okay? I'm trying to get through these topics because, again, it's 5 o'clock in the morning now. Um, Katy Perry. Katy Perry and Orlando Bloom are having a baby. Yep, she's pregnant. They're engaged. She's having a baby. She's in. She, they, they are having a baby. Um, I'm happy. You know, babies are a blessing. You know, is this is a good thing? They say that um, the girl Sansa Stark and the and and the Jonas brother dude is pregnant and having babies too. I'm like everybody pregnant and having babies. It's all up in the world. It's all up in the thing or whatever. But congrats to the couple. Oh, Lord. Nene Leaks. Nene. <laughs> Nene Leaks. This is season one, Nene Leaks. Like, I want y'all to meet who I fell in love with. I, I, I loved season one, Nene Leaks. Nene was on The Breakfast Club. And basically, Nene was acting like she was an innocent bystander in any argument she has ever been in, okay? She is she is just an angel. I ain't did nothing to nobody. I don't know why people don't like me. 
people come on her show just to get with, just to get with famous men. She was just talking and babbling, and I'm like, it's bullshit. It's it's utter bullshit. Okay, she brings up how other girls come on the show just to get famous and date famous men. I'm looking like, whoever came on the show for that reason. I'm I'm very confused or whatever. You know, she brings up how she don't like Kenya in real life. We know, and she don't like you. Y'all don't like each other. You know, she. I don't think she's a good person. But Nene, you not a good person. Nene and Kenya are literally the same person. It's like the. It's like a two sided coin. You heads and she tells, or vice versa. Okay, y'all are both up and nickel and down with us with this bullshit. You and Kenya are not innocent, and 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 not man part of the world. Okay? Nothing about either of y'all is innocent. So please miss me with the bullshit. Okay, it's like a pot and kettle. Pot and kettle, y'all both up in heating up water. And now the good part about the interview, the interview was, Charlemagne let it be known that Nene was supposed to have a talk show years back. Okay, and Wendy and her husband. Kevin Hunter was the ones who stopped Nene from getting to said talk show. Now Nene got real quiet, and she said that her and Wendy has had, had not talked about it or whatever. And she think it was more Kevin than Wendy. No, I think it was them both. Now we know that Wendy was up under her husband's spell, but my thing is I can't be cool with you if I know that you cost me a bag and that you allowed someone else to block my money. Can't be, can't do it. Now she said if it was me, and on the same network or the same team or whatever, we're gonna try to make another show like mine. I would do the same thing. So we just haven't discussed it. And I'm like, but y'all should. I would, cause I don't have time for the bullshit. Now she brings up how once she gets to the reunion, I'm gonna have guns a blazing. Pew 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 pew. pew. I'm shooting. Anybody can get it, okay? Anybody who wants some can get it. And Nene is to the point where I think she feel like I'm not really at odds with anybody except Kenya. So now I can shoot with both barrels. But if she was at odds with with people how she was last season, she'll be quiet church mouth. So I mean. I think the reunion would be very explosive, but girl, I don't care. But she was basically on there acting as if she was just innocent. I don't, I didn't do anything wrong. I don't know. I mean, of course I can accept if I do something wrong, but I, I, I don't know. They even brought up her, you know, calling Kenya a buffalo or saying that she's, ha- that she's having a buffalo. And she tried to, like, walk around. But I wasn't talking about the baby. I was saying that she was the size of a buffalo. But she's pregnant. The fact that she kept repeating it as if it was okay for her to comment on how big a pregnant woman was. Let's take out the fact that it's Kenya. Let's just say you said that Kenya was the size of a buffalo. Many pregnant women are huge when they're pregnant. It's just so crazy that for you to feel like, well, I, you know, I, when, you, when you when you fight with somebody, you know what I'm saying, you sometimes hit, but you know, you, you say whatever, you know, they get shot. I'm not, but girl, you needed to say I should not have commented on her or her baby or, or, or how big she was or what she was carrying or birthing. That was wrong. God, I, I don't. You need to see. That's why I prefer first face Nene, okay, not last face Nene. We ain't got time for that bullshit. Girl, go sit down some damn where. Stevie J. Stevie J was on social media and said some things that Trick Daddy did not like. You know, Stevie J brought up how, you know, the women of Love and Hip Hop Miami need to get better wigs, okay? Y'all need better wigs. Y'all wigs look like shit. And while that's true, while some of the wigs on Love and Hip Hop Miami are horrible, we have also seen bad wigs on the other franchises as well. It's not the Love Hip Love Hip by Miami. So the fact that Stevie J felt the need to say any of this, I was baffled. Now Trick Daddy did not like that. Okay. He then said, you know, anybody, any man speaking on women on on women here is pussy. And I'll slap him. I'm paraphrasing. You know what I'm saying? What he said was girl dogs get slapped down like the bitch they is. And I'm like, what? Sound like what I said to me. Okay. Stevie then came back and said, you know, I was just trying to make sure our ladies knew, you know what I'm saying, that they should get, you know, have great hair and blah, blah. Stevie, you stop back, pulling the pussy popping. I feel like you know, you know what, 
trick may find me. Like, he may, like, I may really see him. He may really slap me. And I can't slap him back because he got lupus. Let me, you know, backpedal, pussy pop, and say, I didn't, that ain't what I meant. I love everyone. I love everyone. And I'm like, the wigs on, on these reality shows do be horrible. He just shouldn't have brought it up because ain't got nothing to do with him. But I digress. Uh, Spike Lee. Good old Spike. Spike was out here beefing with the Knicks. <laughs> security. It was video showing him fussing with security. He was pissed off. He then brings up how the, the, the owners or whatever the team were harassing him. And how he's done watching games. Well, the, st- the team released a statement. And they said Spike was fussing with the security because they kept asking him to not use the employee entrance because he did not work at the garden, okay? But he kept using the employee entrance. They kept asking him and telling him you can't use the employee when you have to use the VIP entrance like any other celebrity. And Spike just kind of didn't want to listen. I feel like it maybe he felt like he's an honorary Nick. Don't know, but I do feel like if the building say, hey, you can't use this interest, okay? Because you're not an employee. Please use the other one. You can't then just say, you know what, they they picking on me. You don't work there. You don't own the building or nothing, Spike. You may have bought a ticket, but you're not an employee. You're a fan. A rich fan, but a fan. A celebrity, but a fan. Let that go, bro. Um, what else happened? Um, Melissa Ford and Takara. Takara, Takara was on Top Model Season 3 in 2004. They were on some podcast or whatever, and they then said they both, at the same time, were dating Drake. Okay? Yes, Melissa Ford in the white dress, Takara in the black dress, both at the same time was talking to Drake. And the crazy part is they are friends. Takara and Melissa are friends, and they did not know the other one was dating Drake until they were chit-chatting or whatever, you know, so just talking or whatnot. And Takara mentioned that she was kicking it with Drake, which then made Melissa say, me too. Me too, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? But, but knock yourself out, okay? And she said that, you know, they didn't want to ruin their friendship over Drake being Drake. I'm looking like, Drake really was out here... Just being nasty, just dating everybody, okay? But I mean, at least their friendship didn't break up. Life Jennings, Life Jennings, who's singing that song, must be nice. That's his song, right? that's what he do. Now anyway, he was all on social media saying how he was disappointed in Eva from the Housewives of Atlanta for changing her daughter's last name to her husband's last name who was basically adopting the daughter. He brings up how Kevin is the girl's father, and that's not fair, or it's not right to change the baby's last name when, you know, Kevin wants to be in the daughter's life. Kevin is crazy, though. And the fact of the matter is, it has been well documented and reported and just and, and talked about how much bull crap has happened between them two and how Kevin is mentally unstable 89% of the time and has not been in that girl's life basically since she was a newborn. So my thing is, why would you act as if Eva is wrong for changing her daughter's last name to the man who's her father? Who lives in the house with them? And not only that, she brought up another reason they did it was because her daughter was the only person in the house who did not have the same last name with them and she felt left out because to her, that's my dad. Because that's the only dad I've known. So my thing is, you can't be up and speaking life on other people's issues. Worry about your shit, bruh. Okay? Okay. Um, what else do we have? Uh, oh. That girl. For the bad girl stuff. Shanada, Shanady, whatever her name is. The Claremont girl. The Claremont twin girl. She got out of jail. She served a whole year. Remember, she was arrested and convicted and sent to jail last year because she was with her sugar daddy, or shall we say, her John. They said that, she was, that he was a he was a, a, a John, and she was a prostitute. So, but the dude died. And she ended up taking his credit card. And after he was dead, she went and, and spent thousands upon thousands 
upon thousands of dollars of the dead man's money, knowing she wasn't posted when she got caught. I don't know how she figured she would not get caught. You can't use someone's credit card to pay your rent as if they can't track your ass down, okay? And so she had to do a year in jail, and now she's out to scam again. So let's hope the next person she scammed, you know, is at least alive for the post. Um, Tamar gets her own show. We TV put out a little snippet of some show called Get Your Life, okay, by Tamar. Now, no one has a clue what the show is supposed to be, okay? We don't know if it's a, a reality show based on her life, if it's the hair show she's supposedly doing, what you know what I'm saying? No one knows quite what it is, but it's supposedly coming later on this year and everything. Now, what we don't know is if Bracton Family Values is ever coming back. I don't think it is. I think it's gone forever. And ever, ever, and ever, ever. I just knocked my phone off. Because as I was taking notes and stuff to do this, it was some breaking news. It was some breaking news. So apparently uh, in South Carolina, okay, Lil Boosie, Lil Boosie Badass was handcuffed and taken into custody. Now they don't know why. It was outside of a concert and everything and there were people outside who saw him getting arrested or whatever. Now he they stopped him and cuffed him. And this is before his concert tonight, okay? And they don't know why, but he was definitely in the police custody, okay? I guess I can remove Tamar's picture because we don't know nothing about that. Anyway, so little Boosie, let's hope he ain't, you know what I'm saying, still in, in handcuffs. Now also, in Birmingham, Alabama, okay? And this is all part of Shade Room, part of Shade Room. And in Birmingham, Alabama, there was a shots fired at Lil Baby's concert. I'm like, Lil Baby, what you doing, Lil Baby? Uh, and you see, like, it was like a little weirdness or whatever, and like, the concert stopped. You heard pow, pow. I'm like, y'all need to stop. People need to stop shooting. It's just, it's just stupid. Okay, it's just stupid, okay? But, you know, more, but we don't know what's going on there. We hope everybody is okay. Okay, Golden State Warrior Physician says that Steph Curry has been diagnosed with inf influenza A and has no specific risk factors for the coronavirus. So he's not playing. Recently, the team did release a statement saying that, you know what I'm saying, he's going to be sent down somewhere for a second. Okay, let's hope he gets better and all of that. Um, And it was one other thing. What was it? I mean, that was it. Oh, also, Hollywood Unlocked posted that there was a video that the baby slapped the lady at his show. We did. It was a video of him, like, walking through the crowd, like, leaving or whatever. And you see someone who looks like the baby slap someone who looks like a female. We don't know why. Maybe she's not the first. I don't know. But we got to figure it out. But, yeah. That was, like, all the stuff that I had to talk about. Um, <sighs> I'm going to bed. You know, it's 5, 16 in the morning, Lord Jesus. Which means it's only 4. It's not bad. It's not bad. And I can sleep in tomorrow. Um, but yeah. I will talk to y'all later. I hope you enjoy this. Guys, a chat. Who said that? Anybody? Somebody? Nobody? Okay, I'm done. <laughs>